Hello everybody, my name is JJ Manu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. Today we will present you how fitness trackers can detect the number of steps while walking and the way you move. The components used to detect steps are MEMS accelerometers like the LSM6DS3 from ST Micro Electronics. Here, here is a small board when the accelerometer is soldered on it. It transmits the data to an Android application through a Bluetooth low energy connection. As you can see on this screen, an application allows to decide which values of the sensors are recorded. The data is stored in a CSV file and we perform analysis of the data thanks to an R program. An accelerometer not only measures acceleration of your body, but also gravity. Therefore, if there is no movement, the accelerometer is equal to 1G on a given axis. For instance, let's have the board flat on the table. The acceleration along the X and Y axis are close to zero, and the acceleration along the Z axis, perpendicular to the, to the table, is around 1000 mg or 1G. Except the noise, the acceleration doesn't change when the board does not move. Let's walk a few steps with the board as flat as possible to simplify the experiment. And let's see the output of the accelerometer. As the board was flat, the major changes of the acceleration as a, along the z-axis in red. We can see an oscillation around the value 1g or 1000 mg. When a foot touches the ground, the acceleration is at the maximum value. And at the minimum acceleration, the body is at the top. It is then easy to visualize the number of steps. Each oscillation represents a step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in our test. As the board was not completely flat, the x-axis measures some variations and is of course synchronized with the z-axis. A gyroscope detects a rotation. As I walk straight, the gyroscope measures the balance of my body. But the signal is small versus the signal coming from the acceleration. Let's turn around to see the outputs of the accelerometer and the gyroscope. As I moved my feet while turning around, the accelerometer gives data, but looks like more big noise than clear pattern. Unlike the gyroscope, where it's clear that rotation occurs around the z-axis at a speed up to 200 degrees per second. Previously, a designer had to program this step detection. Today, this algorithm can be embedded in the MEM sensors. In the example of the LSM6DS3, a register records the number of steps and the designer just needs to read the data, simplifying dramatically the design. These are the basic principles to detect steps. More complex movements can be recognized by applying more complex mathematics and combining the outputs of various sensors.